Hey there, YouTube. It's Justin the Snap-On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Man, I swear I love her. How she worked the damn pole. Hit the strip club. We be letting fans go. Everybody hate her. We just call them fans, though. In love with the money. I ain't never let. So today, by the title of the video, you can tell we are revisiting the Broken Tap situation. Uh, because I wasn't like I didn't like how the other one ended. I figured there's got to be a better way out there for the Joe Schmoes out there. So I got a couple different things that I'm going to show you. Uh, one is definitely the cat's ass for you guys uh, at home or out there being a mechanic. Um, and it came from the comments of the last comment section. Uh, again, if we're reading this shit, guys, we're learning stuff. Uh, so what I bought, okay, is this, uh, I think it's Walton Tap Extractor Sets, okay? Uh, let me get this out, hold on. Well, I bought two of these because the first one I fucked up. Uh, as you can see, I bought this one off Amazon, and it's the 15-piece set, but let me show you this thing. So I got to return this. But what the problem is, is this is a three-fluted one, okay? And it will not work. But this is how these things work. So these go down in between the flutes or whatever, and we'll, tr we'll try it out. So, again, don't make that mistake. Most taps are four-fluted, so get four-fluted. So let's look at what you get. Okay, this is the complete set. And I got this from McMaster Car for 311 bucks. I figured this is a great thing if we do not, if they work and we do not have to go to a machine shop right here. Okay, so kind of how these work is I have them all the way up to one inch. So if we broke a one inch tap, what these are designed to do is go in, grab the stuff, and pull it out. These will work in a cylinder head anywhere so I'm going to show you two different ways uh, that these get out there you know uh, let's say if you work at a place with a lot of tech school graduates uh, if you could save a trip to the machine shop by having these in your box hidden somewhere you know what I'm saying uh, I think that your boss or employer would be very happy and you might be able to get more money out of the some bitches but that's just me uh, they, they come in like pipe thread and all that stuff. Uh, now, with this set, the smallest three sizes, okay, which this is a number four or three millimeter tap, I mean, uh, that is, they only make those in three fluted. So the first three sizes, okay, uh, here in the red, I don't know if you can see that, four, five, and six are all going to be fucking three fluted but when you're looking on Amazon for this okay and this kit was 250 bucks don't get the three fluted ones unless you have three fluted taps I don't have any of those so I gotta send those back okay now the next thing I bought from McMaster car is carbide drill bits okay now here's the problem with these okay these right here are for made for removing taps the problem is is that you can't use them with a handheld drill so you can't get enough down pressure this is only in like a drill press or a milling machine where you can get a shit ton of down pressure to push this through but we do have some carbide drill bits all right, this, uh, I will show you that they will drill a little bit, but it doesn't work out very well. So let's get into kind of showing you how uh, this system works. First thing I'm going to show you is that these don't work uh, really all that well. Uh, they're definitely hard as fuck, and they will make a uh, drill, you know, they will make a mark down in there. All right, so we'll put this on low speed. All right, just show you that we will get some chips here. All right, 
So, as you can see, when I pull this out, I'll show you that uh, we did drill that. It's just that these aren't very good, and they're fucking expensive. This drill bit was 41 motherfucking dollars, okay, uh, for this fucking expensive, solid carbide drill bit here. All right, but definitely to be used for a mill or a lathe, it says right here, do not use with a hand drill, okay? They must be used on a stable or rigid machine. So that's basically a milling machine. But anyway, uh, let's show you how this works. So what you want to do is slide your collar down just a little bit, okay? And get this down in there, okay? Now you can see, now what I like to do is slide this, you know, you want to slide it as much as you can through the tap, okay? If you were in a bottoming tap, you would just slide it till the hole was, you know, all the way down in there. And now we're going to use our wrench here. And you can see that you can easily remove your broken tap there. All right. And you can see... See how easy that fucking works. These things are the shit. Wish I would have known that earlier. All right. So that's how uh, you get a broken one out. And you can see that we did make some progress with the carbide drill bit. But, you know, we would be a while. What you would do in a mill or a drill press, you would, you know, really in a mill, you would find center of this hole and then you could move your machine, you know, let's say back, forward, side to side, all that shit, drill this out. And then it says you chip it out, okay? But uh, let's get over to here and we will show you how to, you know, uh, get one if you have any tech school kids that bottoms the tap out in a bottoming, you know, in the bottom of the hole and breaks it off and there's a little bit of tension left on it. So what this hole right here is simulating is think about something on like front of an engine or something that you're rebuilding or whatever, or a, you know, cylinder head stud, anything like this. We have a bottoming hole here. All right. And you know, your fucking guy, you know, ran that down in there. All right. And then broke the fucking tap off. Now, uh, you can see over here, we got a major fucking problem. And, you know, the kid fucked around, you know. He, there, somebody's going to come to, you know, the best mechanic in the shop. Hopefully, you got these. You know, like I said, this is the toolbox must have if you do a lot of repair work. All right, so now we got a tap broke off down in there. And it's got a little bit of pressure. <sighs> okay. Now, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to evacuate all your chips the best way that you can, okay, uh, to get this piece down in there. So, let's, so the best way that I know how to evacuate chips is blow gun, okay. Now, we got a little bit of a problem here because I got to... The tap didn't break off really smooth, and we fucked up some of the thread. So this is going to be uh, difficult here. Let me see if I can get you moved around to show you that. As uh, you can see that we got this little hunk of shit up in here, and this thing didn't break off real smooth, which in the real world, it's not going to break off real smooth. So uh, what I'm going to do is just get a little, a little punch, and I'm going to knock that just a little bit there and uh you know i'm not going to show you that but that's what i'm going to do and then we'll come back and i'll show you when i got the hole clean so you can kind of get an idea of how you got to have the hole clean to get it to come out uh as you can see i got this uh cleaned out right here i just broke that chip off with a little cake chisel uh, let me get a better light here uh i don't know if you can see that but let me see, uh, yeah, there we go, okay. So you can kind of see, we can see all four flutes there, and it looks pretty clean. 
Now we're going to stick our tool in there and start uh, taking this out. So what I had to do is, is I had to take the 5 16 one apart and these are all interchangeable. Now why I took the 5 16 apart is, is because they are a little bit narrower here. Now with how I have this hole drilled and it's very tight, I couldn't get the thing to go in there, all right? There was just not enough clearance on the side. So I put the 5 16 ones on the 3 8 body and now you can see that we slid in there. So I thought that would be a good helpful hint. Uh, it took me a couple minutes to figure this out. Now we have that tap in there uh, bottomed out, all right? And what I'm gonna do is again, is I slid this all the way down in there. I'm gonna move the collar in there and you can see uh, this is a little loose uh, because uh, the diameter of these on the 3 8 is a little thick and I just couldn't get it uh, down, down in there. You know, I kind of fucked it up a little bit. So now what we got to do is we're going to see if this stuff will back this tap out, which I think it will. I don't know. Oh. Look at that. The tap came right out. See, so what it was was I just couldn't get the right, uh, these had to be a little skinnier. But as you can see, we backed the tap right out. So I thought these would be a cool tool to show you guys. Uh, definitely worth the money to uh, remove these uh, broken taps that are down in the shit. Always remember, think outside of the box on these tools, guys. Uh, noticing that the only thing that's different is is that each size is a little bit thicker and all that stuff. But other than that, uh, that's how you remove a broken tap the right way. And we showed people that we did finish a project here. That's always good. I recommend these in anybody's toolboxes. Uh, once I heard about these and I've tried it now, this is a must-have fucking item. So well, I hope you guys uh, understood the uses of these tap removal tools. Again, this is a must-have item. Now I'll show you kind of why I had to modify that. Okay, a lot of times when you break taps off, they're uneven. Okay, and we broke that off down in there. Now if I really gave a fuck, I would have you know ground this flat like I ground this one flat and just to kind of show you you know once you grind it flat um, it opens up the flutes to what they're supposed to be so you can get this uh, the 3 8 tool in there now what I had to do is drop down a size and use the uh, use the taps or use the the drive units out of uh, the 5 16 in the 3 8 stuff so I just changed the collets over and changed the bars because uh, fuck we're making a mess uh, getting this down in there with this broken uh, piece here is extremely difficult when we're down inside a hole because we got threads and stuff like that you know and you can see it kind of pushes it out you know uh, that we're not we're not flat in there if you can see but anyway uh, these are the Weller or Welling what is this Walton tap sockets they are made in the USA so you know that's a good thing uh, shit so again for 300 bucks this is a great investment uh, in your toolbox um, I think this is a must-have item once I use this it's gonna make your life out there a lot easier so uh, that's enough on these so guys as usual visit my patreon account 
Uh, visit the Snap on Junkie on Facebook and Instagram. And like always, uh, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta fucking go.